Hi there everyone, I'm really excited to share this recipe with you for my mini Christmas cakes. These are perfect for anyone who doesn't want to make a big Christmas cake, they also make great edible gifts and are really cute too. I'm using a recipe belonging to my mum, let's start baking. The first thing we have to do for these mini Christmas cakes is to soak the dried fruit. So place raisins, currants and sultanas into a bowl and into this add the alcohol. I use whiskey but you can use rum, brandy and I've even heard of people using kirsch. If you don't like alcohol you can use orange juice but the cake won't last as long. The dried fruit needs to soak for a few hours or preferably overnight. When the fruit is ready we can make the mini Christmas cakes. So we need to whisk together room temperature butter and brown sugar until the mixture is soft and fluffy. Add the eggs one at a time while still whisking the mixture. Just to mention if you don't have brown sugar then use regular sugar and add in a tablespoon of treacle or molasses. It's time to add the flour, make sure to use plain or all purpose flour as we don't want the Christmas cakes to rise. Add mixed spice, nutmeg and black treacle or molasses. If you don't have mixed spice then you can use pumpkin spice, it's very similar. Mix again until everything is combined. That looks lovely, we can start adding the fruit now and all the other ingredients. Pour in the dried fruit, glacé cherries, mixed peel, lemon and orange zest and the ground almonds. You can add a tablespoon of lemon and orange juice instead of the zest if you prefer. We need to mix everything in, fold it in and make sure to get all the mixture from the bottom mixed in. It's ready so let's get it into our tins. As I said these are 200 gram bean tins, I've removed the bottoms with a can opener. Don't remove the ring pull as there is a ridge and it's harder to get the cakes out this side. Use a brush to grease the tins with melted butter and line the bottom and the sides of the tin with a double layer of greaseproof paper. Just watch your fingers as you do this as the rim is sharp. Now scoop the mixture in and I fill them to about three quarters of the way full. Using a spoon push the mixture down and I make a small dip in the centre of each of the mini cakes so that they don't rise like volcanoes. These are ready for the oven and they need to bake for about 60 to 75 minutes. When baked and still hot we need to give them their first feed. Using a skewer, poke holes into the mini cakes, push the skewer all the way down as you want to make sure that the alcohol soaks all the way down to the bottom of the cakes. Pour a half a tablespoon of alcohol over each of the mini cakes. I'm using whiskey because that's what I soaked my fruit in. I'll feed these again before I decorate them. When cool, remove from the tin and as you can see they come out really easy. I'm going to decorate these now, but you can store these in a cool place wrapped in parchment paper until you're ready to decorate them. Feel free to feed them again with alcohol if you wish. Brush the top of the cakes with a little marmalade or apricot jam. Add a 7cm marzipan round disc to the top, push down and brush with a little warm water. Add a 7cm fondant round to the top and push it down till it sticks. This is shop bought marzipan and fondant but if you want to make your own check out my tutorial on how to ice a Christmas cake. To finish off decorating add a fondant decoration to the top. If you want to make a bigger Christmas cake then check out my one pot Christmas fruit cake. It's really simple, delicious and you'll love it. Let's cut into one of these so you can see the inside of the mini fruit cake. Just look at all that fabulous fruit packed together, all the colours and it smells delicious. Happy baking everyone and enjoy!